What's up, bosses? I'm JoeMan543, playing Pokemon Soul Silver version. And, uh, yeah, I'm doing this because Basem did Heart Gold. And, uh, yeah, that's like the counterpart to this version. And, you know, he initiated this by naming his rival Joe Man. So it's like, what what do I do? You know, I, I gotta be his rival. So, you know, let's, uh, let's get this started. And, uh, I will say right now I'm doing this on an emulator because, you know, I don't really know how to record from Nintendo DS. But, um, oh, oh, that's a speed up. So, um, let's speed through this. Hi, Oak. Yeah, Pokemon World. But, um, uh, this is one of, this is the only game that I actually have in real life on the system. I have Pokemon, uh, Soul Silver on my DS. It's like three feet away from me right now, but I haven't played it in a long time. So I'm gonna be Joe Man. Not like partially lowercase Joe Man, it's just like all uppercase. It's like, I am Joe Man! Not Joe Man. So yeah, I'm Joe Man. And I am Joe Man, yeah. Yeah, Joe Man. Go Joe Man. Alright. Yeah, fun experiences and stuff. I got pixelated and small. So, it's, it's my room. Check out. Alright, what's in my mailbox? Uh, oh, Lyra. Lyra? I'm gonna call her Lyra. Alright, let's read it. Adventure. Excited. I love Pokemon. Was this an email or a text message? Seriously? Come on, I expected more than that, Lyra. Come on. Anyway. Oh, what's this? It's a... It's a Wii! Oh my gosh! Oh, they got some advanced technology here. Woo. Hey, can I go to... Can I go back to bed? There's like... Come on, come on. I don't know if you can see the check button just getting clicked so much. But, yeah. So... Well, that's about as much as I can do up there, unless I wanted to look at the plant. Hello, mother. What you got? Hi, Joe Man, you finally awake. I'm not gonna voice act. Not gonna voice act, okay. Alright, so... Fress around... Blah, 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 blah. Alright, we've got a bag. We've got a bag, guys. And a trainer card. And just in case, we've got the save button. And options. Alright, come on. Alright. I'm gonna be kinda conservative of the speed up button in this. Except for, like, random battles and grinding and whatever. But, you know. Hey, it's a... Meryl. Is that Lyra? Lyra, I found your Meryl. Alright, you got Mara. Alright. So that was an event. And, uh, the game matched the uh, current time pretty well. I mean, it's 9.14 p.m. Seems kind of like that in the game, so, uh, yeah. Alright. Hey! Who's that guy? Who's that guy, huh? Well, I talk to the fence, alright. This is the famous old Pokemon gap. What are you staring at? I'm staring at you, obviously. Alright, let's go into the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. Yes. Hello, Elma. Hi, John, I've been waiting for you. Okay, so the voice acting thing, I don't even know. I'll voice act some people. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lilo does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon, outside of its Pokeball, to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? That's a long sentence. The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. I got an email. Oh, hey, I got an email. Oh, I called it. Hmm, okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. There's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research Wait, I know! You can go in our place, right? 
Our place? Who's our? Who, who's we? Can we count on you? Who is we? We can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Okay, fine, if I get a Pokemon out of it. Alright. So Basim chose Cyndaquil. And, uh... So, that's Cyndaquil. So, of course, I'm gonna choose Totodile, because, you know, being the rival, you know, it only makes sense. Also, I like Totodile, because, um, you know, he can, he can learn ice stuff, he can learn some dark moves, you know, he can become a pretty well-rounded Pokemon, and also he's just, you know, strong, because, because he's Totodile, and, uh, it's said that his jaw can break anything, so... Definitely a good reason to pick Totodile. So, Totodile, I choose you! Yeah, I got Totodile. I sped up accidentally. That was an accident. Alright. Of course I'll give a nickname. So I've actually kind of thought through uh, which Pokemon I want to have and nicknames, so, you know, I'll put those in real quick. You know, put this one in. Yeah. So I'm sure I cut out like one second of video there, but I named Totodile Roar. Wait, wait, I I missed something. Uh ha! There we go. Roar. All right. Is Roar the nickname you want to give? Yes. All right, Roar. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon get hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's always it's used. Just check the PC on my desk. See, even Pokemon likes PC over Mac. Hehe. <laughs> no, but really, I, I prefer PC over Mac. Just, Mac is too automatic, too many automatic things. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Joe Man. Alright, let's go. Oh, aid person. Gentlemen, I want you to have these to help you with your task. Yeah, I got some potions, yay. Yeah, I got some potions. Pokemon are weak in the beginning. Don't hesitate to use potion if you think yours is in danger. Okay, thank you, aid person. Okay. So, uh, Meryl and Lyra. I don't know what game they're playing, but it looks fun. Not voice acting. I don't know, I just can't voice act women very well. I guess my voice is too deep. And, and that was not edited. Anyway. Yeah. Go get her, Meryl. Alright, come on, Roar. Wait. I must talk to my mother. Mother, I'm going somewhere. Hello, Mom. Now, voice acting. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Professor Elm gave me a Pokemon and a task. So, you know, it's important, yeah, you forgot. My Poke Beer, Poke Beer, like, Pokey Gear came back, not Pokey Beer. Pokemon ain't getting drunk here. Alright, so just to do, I can use Poke Beer to make a phone call. Do, do I remember how? Of course I do, but you're gonna tell me anyway. No matter what you pick, she'll tell you. So, she's like, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Oh my gosh. B B B B. I don't want to talk to you over and over. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. What? 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 What did I do? Go back in. Okay. Uh, I, th I think I reset it properly. Let's see if I look alright. Yes. Okay, so I got the Pokemon. Talk to my mom. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Worth one second. What is it, Elm? Come on, I'm trying to do stuff here. I almost completely forgot. Almost. About this. Here, I'll give you my number. So call me, maybe. Yeah, so I got Professor Elm's number. I'll call you if anything comes up. Okay, have fun with that. Alright. Go back to your research. Man, can't run. And it, you probably noticed little black spots on the screen. I don't know what I can do about that, but, you know. I've got settings set so I can record. Took an hour to figure stuff out. But anyway, Basim had the same problem I saw in his video. Because, you know, 
I watch his videos sometimes. Got a Pokemon battle. First Pokemon battle of the game. With a Hoot Hoot. Level 3, female. This could be serious, man. Got Hoot Hoots. Wait, got a Hoot Hoot. Alright, let's scratch the Hoot Hoot. Oh man, that did like a third of its health and damage. It's growling at me. This, this is getting serious. Got some growling going back and forth. Like, I'm scratching Hoot Hoot. You know, there's another scratch. Looks like just below half health. This might be four hits before Hoot Hoot's down. Hoot Hoot's like, he's magnifying glass on me. In foresight. Like, Hoot Hoot identified me. I have been identified. So, you know. Another scratch thrown out. Looks like the next one will win this battle. But who, who's attacking back? I don't know if I can finish this in time. So here goes scratch. This could be it for the battle. Looks like who, who is down. Looks like we win the battle. Rar gained 24 experience points. All right, first battle of the game. Oh my gosh, so much experience from that battle. Okay, so don't expect me to commentate like that in any battle. Like. Almost ever again. <laughs> oh, that's actually hard to commentate, but whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna be uh, I'm not even gonna move anymore. I'm gonna be cutting out uh, basically all grass random battles unless they're special for some reason, like I level up or find a Pokemon that I'm gonna uh, catch or add to my team. I'd have to catch them to add to my team anyway. So let's continue walking. Huh. Thought I'd run into a Pokemon. Whatever. Do, 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 do. Just a nice walk, you know, nighttime stroll. Going through some grass. Not really finding any Pokemon. Alright, let's get to level 6. Come on, level 6! Okay, uh, okay, there's probably a Hoot Hoot. Yeah, yeah, level 6. Got a level 6 RAR with Water Gun. Yeah. All right, level six, and uh, who, who didn't even lay a finger or a talon on Rar. 